the higher act. Now, the higher act, I have no idea what it stands for anymore, but all I know that it means that you can bring on some folks that have not worked very much in the last 60 days, and if you do, um, you get a credit towards um, their Social Security part that you have to pay, and if you keep them on for a year, you get a thousand bucks. It's the middle of December. If you hire someone to now need a year, you're probably not going to see a big benefit from, on the FICA side of things. But if you keep them around for a year, if you're going to hire someone now, and you keep them for a year, it is $1,000. And it's right on your tax return. Um, of course, you're not going to get that till like two years from now because of how, you know, when you're going to file and things like that. But that's okay. Uh, it is $1,000. Would that be somebody you would have to hire by the end of this year? Let's see. The rules are you have to hire them before January 1st, 2011. So you got a couple weeks. Hire someone. Great. Who's unemployed in the last 60 days? <laughs> My daughter is just not ready to check. Too. There you go. No. Uh, let's see. Family members do not qualify. <laughs> I know. Got another one? Because I just stop on guess already. I didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> what um what some of the other qualifications are though? And this is this is actually a really good one here. We're going to go over some of the qualifications. I'm going to go over, you know, uh, what happened if I hired someone and I don't know if I did this, or I don't know if my payroll company did this. We'll, we will get there, because that was a big question at the last uh, seminar we did. Um, if you laid someone off and you're going to rehire them back, they qualify, as long as they have not worked. And it's like, what is it, four hours a week over the last 60 days? It's, you know, 40 hours, 40, 40 hours over the last 60 days total. <laughs> Um, which is close to four hours. I made that number up. But, um, so now the thing is, you can't. Um, you can you can hire a new person, um, but you can, it's only if the workers left. Uh, if the workers are replacing left volunteer for cause, so you can bring people back. Is the whole point. Um, I thought this was a great idea. My my big idea was at the beginning of the year when this came out in February. I'm like. What if I had a thousand employees and I just did a rolling layoffs? So I'm gonna lay off a hundred people for two months, bring them back, and every month I'm gonna lay off a hundred people. So I, my workforce goes down to 900. As long as I had them unemployed for two months, I just bring them back. I, keep I just got a thousand bucks for a thousand people. It's a million dollars if you know how to do math. That's a million dollars. You want to talk about bad public policy? Actually, this is a good one. I, I, I picked up the government way too much. This is actually a good one from that standpoint. Other than the whole you can rehire your people back. And I know what they're talking about. They're talking about the construction trades. They're talking about seasonal and things like that. And I understand where they were thinking. But you can see how easy it is to manipulate tax law. Um, you know, the best intentions sometimes produce some of the worst results. Um, we had several of our clients who had payroll services that did, did their payroll, they had new hire, the whole thing, didn't even look into this. Didn't even, didn't. And the IRS has an, actually a new um, form to amend quarterly payroll tax reports, I do believe. Right, Jenny? Yeah. There's a 941X. It used to be the 941C. <laughs> so what you can do is if you have, if you think you've had some employees and they weren't working before you hired them, so, well, some people do, and then um, you're not sure if you got the proper credit. I mean, it's significant credit. Um, I don't know if I remember, the, you know, it's up to like $2,500 of FICA savings you could have. You know, that's something to look into, and that's actually something that we do for our clients, you know, or anybody. If you think, hey, did they do this right? And give it to us. You know, we'll make sure. I mean, I think we amended your guys' stuff. Because um, didn't know they, the employees were new, didn't know that they had been unemployed, and you get your money back. It's kind of cool. Andy. How about if you hired them through a temp service? Well, they'd have to be your employee, and you understand how temp service works. So right. I don't know, you know, what, here's what so happened. They would actually be working through the temp service before you hired them. Probably, they're probably working for that agency before you brought them on. Uh, basically, the employee has to sign off on a form W11. W11. And sometimes in forms, I just kind of do that, and people, you know, hey, fill out the 5445. 
What? Yeah, you know that one. Um, the, the employee actually signs an affidavit saying, I've been unemployed. So it kind of puts a little bit of pressure off the employer, which is good, because we don't always know. But that's kind of how that one works. Yeah. I hired full time or part time? Either one? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think it, it doesn't matter at all. And so if you've got a seasonal employee and you laid them off like in December of last year and rehired them in March of last year, yep. you're eligible for March 2010, yeah. And that's the thing, that I think that's the thing a lot of people don't realize. Is they're like, well, I didn't hire. Wait a second. You know, Bob doesn't work in the winter. You know, we, we do put roofs on. I hired Bob back. You know, Bob has made 60 grand this year. You know, now, now you, you might not get the $1,000 credit because if you lay Bob off again because, you know, it's snowing out and cold, you're not going to get the $1,000, but shoot, that's about $2,500 by my calculations. 40, if someone makes 40000 a year, that's $2,500. It is from February of this year, so if you hired him in January, February of this year through the end of the year. So you know, maybe that's something you take back and you go, hey, if we hired someone this year, let's take a look at those dates and let's maybe ask them, you know, what were you doing before this? It's worth it. it, it you know, that's one of those things. And then as far as filling out the forms, you know, that's one of the things that we do at our company. We help people fill those forms out.